Hello lovely people, big warm welcome back to my YouTube channel. And look, I can talk. I've basically got my voice back, so feeling so much better and I can actually speak to you properly now. Guys, this is one of my favorite videos to film, like in the whole year. This is my autumn decorate with me. I am one of those <laughs> passionate people, crazy people, I don't know what you want to call us, that love to decorate for the seasons. And I will decorate for every season. Apart from summer, I feel like summer is kind of impossible to decorate for. But autumn is literally probably one of my favorite seasons to decorate for. I am a pumpkin, pumpkin freak. So I'm just gonna take you with me while I decorate my home. I'm gonna do some decorations in here, in the living room, some in the like family dining room area. I won't be able to do much decorating in the kitchen because it's currently being painted. I'm literally sat in here with all the cupboard doors in here with me spread out on the floor being painted. It's literally in the middle of happening. Wondering why there's not much going on in the kitchen, that's why. But yeah, get yourself a cup of tea and get cozy because this is a very cozy autumnal video for you to enjoy. There will be a separate decorate my autumn front door with me video. I'll be doing that in the next um, couple of weeks. So keep an eye out for that, stay tuned for that, that'll be coming soon. Yeah, let's get on with it. I hope you enjoy decorating my house with me for autumn and hey, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoy it. So the first thing I need to do is just empty everything out of my storage box. I keep this storage box up in my attic along with all my other decor bits. This is my autumn box, obviously. So I'm just gonna empty everything out, put it into little sections, try and think about what goes with what and decide what I'm actually going to use and what I'm not gonna use. There is lots of stuff in here and to be honest, I'm probably not gonna use all of it this year. So I'm just gonna be really careful about what I'm taking out of the box. And here's all my beautiful bits. Some of them are new that you may have seen in some of my hauls that I've done recently and some of them are old and very much loved little pumpkins and decoration bits but here's everything I'm going to try and use and now it's time to style it around the house. So the first thing I'm going to do is this little bit up on the boys toy storage. I'm just going to take off this candle in this glass jar and the first thing I'm going to do is a dust. It's a really good excuse to dust the surfaces before I style them so every area that I style is going to be dusted and cleaned first. I'm going to pop another little decorative book on the top of here as well just to pile it up a little bit and I'm going to put in some of my concrete pumpkins. These beautiful pumpkins are from Pretty Little Home. I have them in all sorts of sizes and this glass jar is also from Pretty Little Home. So I'm going to put that there with these little eucalyptus leaves that I believe are from Ikea I think. I'm going to put those inside and put the lid back on and then I'm just going to place some little white pumpkins around as well. These are just basic ones that I got from Amazon. On the other side of the toy storage unit, I've got my little lamp and my coasters and that vase, which I'm just gonna remove. And of course, I'm gonna dust it down first. First, I'm gonna put down this large white one that I got in my recent B&M haul, which I love. And this little white one, which glows, is also from B&M. I'm gonna put those two together. I thought they'd look really cute together. And a couple of my little Hessian ones, which were an Amazon, sorry, bargain that I got last year. Then I'm just gonna put my photo frames back, a couple of photo frames here, and my first pumpkin candle, which is this one here that I got from, I think it was T either TK Maxx or home sense I can't remember which one but it smells incredible okay I'm gonna go into the living room now and I'm gonna put some pumpkins on my shelving units here so I'm gonna take down some of the bits I'm gonna take off this huge artichoke and replace it with this huge pumpkin this is new this one is TK Maxx and I love the subtle pop of color 
on the shelves. I think it goes really well with the greenery as well. And this little knitted pumpkin was also from TK Maxx, along with one of the white ceramic ones from B&M. I'm also gonna just restyle this large glass jar. I'm gonna take out the eucalyptus and I'm gonna pop in some dried bunny tails, which I just love at this time of year. It's the perfect sort of tone and color for autumn. I love the way that they look in that large jar. On the other side of the shelving unit, I'm just gonna take off this little jar here and replace it with the large brown pumpkin, which is from B&M, which you may have seen in my haul. And then I'm gonna take off this floral jar here because that doesn't feel too awe to me. I'm gonna take that one down and replace it with this beautiful cracked glass pumpkin candle that I found in TK Maxx. And that's all I'm gonna do in here. So just subtle little pops and changes just to add to the autumn atmosphere, but not overdo it too much. These are the bits that I've got left that I don't really know what to do with. So I don't know where to go from here, but I am gonna put a couple of tiny pumpkins in the kitchen. As I said, I can't do much because the kitchen's being decorated, but I'm just gonna put a few around the sink just so I feel like it's a little bit autumn-y in here. And now onto my favorite thing to do, which is the centerpiece for the dining table. I'm gonna take off my huge jar with my giant eucalyptus in, which I love, but it's time to change it up for autumn. And I'm gonna put, well, first thing I'm gonna do is clean it, obviously. I'm gonna dust the table, make sure it's nice and clean and ready to be decorated. And I've got my beautiful wooden centerpiece tray. This is again from Pretty Little Home and it's so good to dress however you want. So I'm gonna put in my white ceramic pumpkin jar again from Pretty Little Home. Basically everything is from there. I'm gonna put that in first and then I've got this little candle holder. It's actually supposed to be a candlestick holder, but I'm gonna put a little bit of greenery in there just to mix it up a bit and pop that in the middle. Then I'm gonna get some of my ceramic pumpkins that you saw me use earlier of different sizes and I'm gonna just try and mix those up and pop them around in different places around the tray. Now I've just got a handful of dried bunny tails that I've cut up so that they're really short and I'm gonna just pop those in the spaces just to fill up any gaps and to add a little bit extra to the decorative tray as well. And there you go, it's even better than I remember it last year. I absolutely love it. Really understated and simple, but really cozy and autumn-y as well. So I'll just take you around and show you everything one last time, but thank you so much for watching my Decorate With Me guys for 2022. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Lots more autumn videos to come, and I will see you lovely people in my next video. Enjoy having one little look around my autumn home.